You must have heard lots of jokes. Sure. Now, come on, let's hear one. Mm. Come on, tell us. No, Ian doesn't tell jokes. No, no, he's not a comedian. Just books the acts. Hmm. Well, all right, then I will. I'll tell you a joke. This man goes into a pub, OK? Um, village pub, like this village. And uh, he gets himself a drink and everything and sits down in the corner by the fire. And then this other chap comes in a few minutes later. And uh, the barman sees him and beams. And he says, uh, he says, um, he says, Coxwick and Mike, your usual. And he, the man says, that's fine, thanks. Oh. Takes a drink and goes and sits down. And the first guy is watching him, thinking, my God. And then this other man is leaving the bar and he bumps into the, the other guy. And he says, I'm terribly sorry, Coxwick and Mike, didn't see you there. And he says, that's all right. And then if, if another few minutes go by, and then a few minutes later, this van pulls up. It's one of those Pony Express telegram vans. And the, um, the girl, you know, the woman with the little bellhop hat and the little shoelets, jumps in and she says, um, Telegram! Telegram! Cox the Mike! Telegram! And he goes, runs over. He says, thanks very much. I'll take that now. And he, anyway, our man is obsessed. He can't contain himself any longer. He goes over, he says, I have to ask you, how did you get such a name? What, how, what happened? And the guy said, well, I grew up in this village, you know. I had a wonderful job. I had a great business and everything. I, I, I gave money to charity. I repaired the church roof, sent kids away and everything, my own money. Married a beautiful girl. Had the respect of the whole parish and all the outlying parishes, you know. But you suck one cock. <laughs> there you go. I think I think I got some air. <laughs>